Rana reporting for Viva in an undisclosed location in West Yorkshire. Today I'm taking part in the 100 leaflet challenge. I'm giving out the dark side of dairy going door to door in my local area and all across the UK today vegans are getting involved with this which is incredible and I have to say to anyone watching whether you're vegan or not we're told so many lies about the dairy industry. We're told we need milk, cow's milk to have strong bones. We need to dispel this myth. We need to get the information out there and we need to inform vegans we have a duty no we have a responsibility to do more than just be vegan none of this passive vegan malarkey we need activists all the activists so i'm going to go door to door now with these i've already done some leafleting in leeds yesterday and i did some at my local gym in the car park and then i got told off but you know it comes with the territory and there are people all over the country taking part including some other youtube faces you might recognize Let's go! What's going on guys, this is Vegan Speak today, all the way from London, UK. Today I'm going to be doing the 100 leaflet challenge against the dairy industry. Enjoy. So I'm taking part in the 100 vegan leaflet challenge today um, because when I saw this action online I said to myself wow this is great like what a great way that we can all join together and spread the truth for what is happening to the animals. Um, we who know what's happening to the animals from the dairy industry and other industries I feel that it's up to us to make others aware of what's happening. Um, if we don't, things can't change. We have to be the change. It starts with us always. So the dairy industry are spreading lies and propaganda. So as much as they are putting their advertisements out there of high welfare standards and health, we have to be telling people the truth. So I'll be handing these leaflets out today. The dark side of dairy. Viva provided me with them. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go and do that now. So good luck to everyone else who is taking part and I can't wait to see the difference that we all can make together. Right, so we're a week late, but we're finally getting there. I'm posting our daily okay. With the help of my two lovely grandchildren, and we're gonna push our luck and do it in a dairy farming village. So, come here first. Yay. And I've got them in a bag with an umbrella because it looks like it's going to rain, but we'll find out, so let's go. Ruby, did you have fun doing the leaflets? Of course I did, why not? Uh, what was your best bit? Um, posting them and doing Shanama Peapod at the end. And what were the leaflets about? Mm, not hurting animals ever again. It was about what happens to cows when we take their milk, isn't it? Do you drink um, cow's milk? Never. Why not? Because it's for the baby cows. Okay. So it was a good thing to drop those leaflets off so people can think about their milk in their cereal? It, um, in a minute will it, will the video be over? Yes. Would you like to say one more thing? Of course I will. What would you like to say? Um, Bye bye, but before I say that, I was going to say that my dog Puppy is a vegan and my mom, but not my daddy. What about you? I am. Why? Because I want to be vegan and vegetarian. Why do you want to be vegan? So I don't hurt animals. Well, that's about as good a reason as you can have. Bye-bye. I hope you have a lovely time. See ya. 
See ya. I'm gonna do the 100 fly challenge today, which I'm really excited about. I've got my flies in my bag from Beaver, and then we're gonna post those through people's letterboxes. Oh, down 96 to go. We're getting there. We're getting through them. Anyone can go onto Viva's website and order a ton of these leaflets. So we got 100 and they cost less than one pound. So it's super cheap to get hold of these. No excuse really not to. They're great to have in your bag as part of an kind of on-the-go activist kit, if you like. And you can just post them around or even if you just get talking to someone, if you have something tangible with information on to hand them after you've had a conversation with them, that's a great tip. That's a great thing to do. And I'm going to be doing that from now on. My name's James, aka Manga Man, and I took part in the Viva 100 Leaflet Challenge on the 10th of July. The main reason I took part in the event was because I wanted to educate other people. Um, I know that I would have liked to be educated sooner. Um, I had no idea that baby cows were taken away from their mothers as soon as they're born, just so I could have the milk. Uh, I definitely would have made the switch sooner if I'd known that. So yeah, that's the main reason I did the challenge, is just to educate people. Today I'm doing the 100 leaflet challenge for the dark side of dairy. I've already posted a few just down this road here. I'm going to do my another one here. Yeah. She's posted some in people's houses as well, but I'm doing it on the cars because I think it's very useful. And yeah, still got quite a lot more to do. I've probably done about 10 so far. So yeah, probably like 70 more to go. But yay! Hi everyone, uh, Mel here. Um, we've just come back from Vegan Festival at Newcastle, which was absolutely brilliant. First one I've ever been to, so really good. And now I'm going to end the day delivering these dark side of dairy leaflets. So I'm gonna go out now, okay, catch you in a bit. I don't think most people who consume dairy are all aware of the process it takes in order for us to get cow's milk. And that's why campaigns like this, you know, giving out information, you know, there's so much misinformation out there about dairy. People don't even realize where cows produce milk. People just think cows magically produce milk because that's just the way they are, but of course, cows only produce milk because they are pregnant. You know, they are mammals just like we are and they lactate and produce milk in order to feed their young. And so the only way we can have so much cow's milk in the world is to continually keep cows pregnant. And they're supposed to live for between 20 and 25 years. It's their natural lifespan. And sadly, because of the way we treat them and the way we abuse their bodies and their fertile organs, they drop dead between four and five years and it's tragic and I really believe that if people knew about this, they would think twice about consuming dairy but of course the dairy industry doesn't want this secret to get out and that's why giving out leaflets, doing little bits of activism each day as, as much as you can when you're vegan is imperative. That's what will make this movement grow and we all have to do our bit. So today I'm going to be taking part in the 100 leaflet vegan challenge which was set by Patrick on Facebook and basically it's where all vegans from around the UK, well the world in fact, are going to be handing out today 100 leaflets on the realities of the dairy industry and these leaflets were from Viva and it was just £1.50 for 100 so super cheap and if you haven't already checked out their website you should because they have loads of great resources if just one person sees this leaflet and it makes them think about giving up dairy or even going vegan then I think that's all worth it so I'm gonna head off now and get handing out all these Hey, 
everyone, we are now currently on the way to park up somewhere and drop some leaflets around people's houses, the anti-dairy industry ones that I showed the other day, and it points out everything in these Viva leaflets, and hopefully at least one person will read the leaflet and go, hey, you know what, that's bad, I'm gonna not contribute to this anymore, or at least I'm gonna replace my milk with one of the various half dozen or more milks that there are out there to try in supermarkets. And they're good. I prefer them to normal milk that does contain pus. A hundred leaflets down and it's a good job too because the heavens have literally just opened. So I'm handing it over to all you other activists all over the UK. I hope the weather's better where you are. Over to you.